feel those butterflies when I go to sleep at night. Hey guys, welcome back, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Getria, and today we are doing a very exciting video of painting a backpack. Before we start, thank you so much to Seventeen London for sending me this backpack. If you don't already know, Seventeen London is a UK based company that sells backpacks and accessories and all the backpacks are named after different parts of London and they are really cool, they look amazing, they have lots of compartments for storage and yeah, you guys should definitely go check them out. The link will be down below in the description box. You guys can use to get your own 17 London backpacks. So this is the backpack that I was actually painting. It was a turquoise Wimbledon backpack and I just really like the design of this one so I took this one. Here is a little tour of the backpack before I painted it. So as you guys can see here is the bag and at the front there is a huge pocket with lots of space inside it and behind that there is another pocket with the zip which is even bigger to put your phone and stuff in which has some mini pockets inside it as well so you can organise yourself really well. And then after this pocket there is a large space at the front with the zip as you guys can see that you can put more stuff in which is really convenient. And then at the bottom there's a little like hole you can put pencils in or stuff like that. After that on the side you have the water bottle spaces on both sides which are really nice and big. And also this is really cool but there's a little zip at the back of the bag to put some more stuff in which I think is a really cool place to put things and I really like this. And then when you open the actual bag, there are lots of different compartments inside. As you guys can see, at this part there is like, I don't know, there's so many different zips because there's so much space. It's really easy to be organized as you guys can see. Look at all that storage space. It's really amazing, including the little mesh thing. And at the back there is a laptop section or you can put books and stuff in it if you want to. And this is cool but there's also water bottle sections inside the bag so you can put your water bottle inside and not have it fall out all the time. Which is really cool because my water bottle is always falling out of my bag so I really like this about the bag. And then when you close it you can like basically put the two handles together using the little like button thing if that makes sense. But anyway, they also send me a water bottle, which is really nice. It's a really solid metal water bottle. And they also send me a pencil case, which is also really good quality. Thank you so much, 17 London. I really love the water bottle and the pencil case so much. As you guys can see, the pencil case has lot of storage compartments as well and has a little British file on it. Anyway, let's get on to the actual painting of the backpack. So basically what I did was I got my iPad and I made a few designs on what kind of thing I want to do on it. So here are the designs I made. The first design was just some simple butterflies on the front of the backpack in just a kind of regular order, going from purple, blue, purple, blue. And the next design I had was the same butterflies but in kind of a more random order, looking in different directions. Looking? I don't know, but just facing different directions. The next design was a really pretty one with some flowers and I just did some flowers on different parts of the backpack and that was it. So yeah, those are my three designs I made for the backpack. What I ended up doing was I kind of mixed up two of the designs. So first of all, I did the random butterflies scattered in different positions on the front of the bag. Then I ended up doing the flowers on the side of the bag. So and in the end, it all worked. So anyway, here is me painting the butterflies onto the front of the bag. So here we are painting the actual butterflies. I started out by using a pencil and just drawing it out onto the bag. Obviously, I don't wanna just paint straight on it and ruin the bag. And then I got out some paint and I started painting the middle butterfly purple. And then for the butterflies, I basically just painted a single layer of acrylic paint in the desired color. As you guys can see, some of mine were a, like a really pretty pastel purple color. Some of them were like a pastel bluish purple colour, as you guys can see this one. And then the problem is it did get a bit darker as it dried, as you guys can see it's kind of like seeping into the bag a bit. But it did work, I think that was just my fault making the paint too watery maybe, but you know, it's fine, it did end up working. 
but as you guys can see I also used a really light blue and a really light mint green sort of colour which I thought was really pretty and then I let that layer dry and then used a darker shade of the same colour to add the details of the butterfly I don't really know what you call this bit, I'm just going to call it the details on the wings. I don't really know, are they like veins or something? Um, yeah, I really have no idea, but I just used a dark colour to add the details on, which was really hard because, I don't know, it was really small. I think my paintbrush was a bit too thick for it, but it did end up working, I guess, so it was fine. After this, I used some black paint to outline the butterflies and add the sort of like rim around the wings for all of them, as you guys can see. I chose not to have like bodies for the butterfly, I just didn't really want that kind of thing. I wasn't trying to make it realistic, just make it look really pretty. But yeah, anyway, as you guys can see, I'm just adding all the edges of the butterflies to every single butterfly, which also took a little bit of time because obviously it was really small and detailed. this I grabbed some white paint and just added some white spots on the edge of the butterflies. So after painting the butterflies at the front of the bag, I went on to paint the flowers on the side of the bag. So as you guys can see, painting the sides of the bag was kind of hard because I had to like squish it in a position where the camera could see what I was doing, but I still managed to do it. Anyway, I just drew out some flowers and some leaves and like I did before, I did a single base layer of acrylic paint in like pink blue purple shades ish you know what i mean anyway after this i used a darker shade of the same color and did an outline and just blended that in to make it look a little bit more realistic but obviously it wasn't like super realistic or anything after this i used a mint green color to paint on the leaves and the little stems as you guys can see then used just some darker shades of the same green to add a little bit of shading to it and I used some black paint to outline everything just to create the same effect I did with the butterflies although you could always just leave it without the black paint I guess but yeah this is what I did as for the other side I basically did the exact same thing except the flowers were a little bit different and in a slightly different position Anyway, yes, it's time for the final backpack reveal. Here we go, I'm gonna show you guys the final backpack after being painted. So, here it is. So here is what the backpack is looking like. I'm actually really happy with this. I do love the butterflies on the front. They look really pretty. And I think they really match the turquoise color, if you know what I mean. And also on the sides, I love what I did to the sides as well. I don't know if I should have like outlined them in black, but I actually do quite like it. So I just did a few flowers, I didn't go all the way up because I don't want to make it too much if you know what I mean, I wanted to keep it simple but pretty. And the same on the other side, I also have my flowers and they look really lovely. I actually love the colour scheme so much because that's like my whole aesthetic. I am just really happy with this. My heart and 